So Bob Ryan, who again <laughs> is a legendary figure, my friend Mr. Woody, and you started your career. Yeah, you, I see you. What do you think? A mid-level game manager. You really think I'm going to go there, mid-level game? No, listen. I think when you look, first of all, we're talking about a guy who's 42 years old. Yes. We need to, I think people need to put that in perspective. Yeah. He's 42. He's not, this is not the same Tom Brady that we saw when he was 30 or you know, in the mid-30s, okay? So Father Tom is, is obviously playing a role in here, playing a role in this. But looking at the Patriots offensively, they are very limited offensively. Their offensive line is not playing as well as they were uh, last year. The skill guys definitely aren't. They can't separate. And when they do have opportunities, they're not making, they're not making plays on the football. So when you have a 42-year-old quarterback that's declining in skills and then the pieces around him aren't performing, this is what I mean, you get. I, I, I understand. It's hard for us to fix our lips to say anything bad about Tom Brady, but his stats suggest that Bob Ryan was being generous. And I know we can blame everybody around him, but he leads the league in underthrows. That's not the reason. That's not the receiver's fault. It's not the O line's fault. You, Their running game is you, terrible right now, and he needs a game. You're, manager. So you're, you're, you're saying right now that Tom Brady is just merely a game manager. Think about what we're saying. A game manager. Are you watching the games? I'm watching the games. You're, like you're watching it. I'm watching Watching the games? So he is a not, game manager? I, a ga he would be, a great, on, he'd be a great game manager if they would support him. Game managers need support. He's not getting that support. And they're missing Gronk in the passing game, but they're also missing him in the running game. They're running away from the strong side, which is not something they did when they had Gronk there to, to pave the way. Well, look, I mean, the numbers can say a lot of different things. He threw two touchdowns last week that didn't turn out to be touchdowns. One, they ruled Nikhil Harry out of bounds inexplicably. Right. The other, Jacoby Myers drops, which was right in his hands, which seems to be his best play. Shefty, let's go back to the <laughs> beginning part of that conversation, which is Bob Ryan saying he's starting to believe that we are seeing the end of the Tom Brady era in New England, one yeah. way or another, whether it means that he retires or he goes on to play someplace else. Well, we've said this year, again, there are three options. There are three. One is he goes back to New England. Two is he goes to another team. And three, he retires. Two of the three options are him not going back to New England. I don't think that he knows what he's going to do. I don't know that they know what he's going to do. But two of the three. The percentages are that he doesn't come back. The percentages are that he moves on one way or another because there's an equal chance that any of those happen at this point in time. And he is 42, and he's not practicing as much, and his body is wearing down a little bit, which is natural. Greeny, you get out of bed in the morning. How do you feel? Can no, you imagine so what it's like exactly for for – to be Tom Brady when you've been hit on Sunday and pummeled like that, it's a tough challenge. I, I, for the life of me, I can't understand why he hasn't gone out on top a number of times, but it suggests right. to me he just wants to play. And who are we to tell him he can't if someone wants him to? And he says he wants to do it till he's 45. That's three more seasons. Yeah, I think he deserves to try to do it. I think the Patriots deserve to do everything they can to give him what he wants because he's been that great. But he hasn't been that great this year, and it, the people around him, we can blame them, but it's not just them. I understand that those two plays last week, you can blame those players, but you're watching Tom Brady, like I said, the stats suggest that he's not very good, but he also, you watch him play, he leads the league in under -throw. I understand that, but if those two are touchdowns and the stats look different right. and the outcome of that game is probably different and these things do go together, I understand that That's one game, tends though. to even out over the course of time. Right. I understand that, but all I'm saying is, I think the numbers are doing him a disservice. I think sometimes these guys, when they lose a little off their fastball, they pick up a little something else in knowledge. I think he's more than a game manager. It's hard to apply that term to Tom Brady. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.